This is Mr. Burley at the Orcathic District School Board. In this tutorial, we're going to do the second part. This is just a static picture, static math data, obviously. Um, nothing moving, unlike this, whereas we can come over here and we can, we can animate the model and see it working fully dynamically. And that's what we're going to do with this one today, is we're going to make this one functional. Currently, it's not. So a couple things we can do. First thing I want to bring to your attention, you can grab this now, and you can pull things around. And you can bring them back to the regular position here. So you click on anything in the model tree, and then you can grab it, and you can move it. So if you want to move it to a new position or whatever the case may be, or if you want to revert, yeah, if you want to save that new position, you would click here. If you don't, you'd click revert, and we're going to revert back. Now, I can move anything. So I can grab this top piece here and move him out of the way and so on. Um, so now to make this like a static model or dynamic model, I need to uh, ground a few things, meaning make them so they don't move. And so I'm going to ground this, 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 and the plate. So that'd be the first step. Now, when I went to do this, I realized this piece here and this piece here are on the top level of the model tree. They're not actually in a component. So what I'm going to do, I left it on purpose just to show you. This is how you do do that because this will happen to people. You just click this down here. Highlight this one, hit the control key here, right click, and you create components from bodies. And it'll come down. So now they're components. There are two separate components, mind you. And if you wanted to, you could join them too. You could shut everything else off like this. Shut everything. You can window them all in like that, and you could combine them right here. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them separate for right now, which is not a big deal, but I'm going to do that. So that's how you do that if, if that happens too. So now what I want to do is I want to ground them so they're not moving. So you just, in the model tree, so there's the top piece right here. You can see I right-click this one here, ground, and it's now frozen. And you can see it's pinned right there. Second thing I want to do is I want to pin the bottom, ground the bottom. I don't want it moving either. And the two components we just made, this one and this one, let's ground them both as well. Ground and ground. All right. So now we're going to come back. We're going to make this thing twist. I'm going to do the pins last. I'm going to do this first. So let's make this piece twist. So what do we do? We come up here to assemble. Assemble the joint. Motion. I want the motion to revolve. And the position. I want the position. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click into somewhere there like that. Now you can see it's on this axis. But So we want to bring it out to where we want it positioned. So I'm just going to position it out until you can see it touch right there. Beautiful, right? So what do we got now? We've got it revolving right there around that axis. I click OK. Now I can come and I can test it to see if it's going to work. So I can click on this one right here, right-click it, and oops, wrong spot. Joints, revolve, drive the joint, and let's just rotate it around. And it's working. But you can see it's none of my valves are reacting to this. They're just getting hit. So I'm going to do that next. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to make these things slide up and down. So I'm going to assemble, joint, and I'm going to do the first one first. I'm going to grab him here, right there. You see that? Right there. And I'm going to line it up to that hole. And you can see he's sliding. The motion slider there you go okay now i can do the same thing to the next one so i'm going to go assemble joint here and here and motion to make sure it's on slider it's okay it is and assemble joint here and here and my motion is sliding good You could also have them rotate because there's no keyway here, so you could also put that in too if you want. But motion, oh, cancel, let's fix the last one. Assemble, joint, and I'm going to assemble there, and I'm going to assemble it there, and I'm going to click OK. And now, let's see what happens when I. Wrong spot. Drive joints. If I take them. Nothing's happening because it doesn't know this is underneath it and turning. It has no idea. 
right? So now what we have to do is we have to tell it these two pieces here, hey, you're being influenced by this. And how do I do that? Assemble, enable contact cells, not this one, the one above, because I want to ident I want to identify which ones I want. I'll click this. Come up here, right click, new contact set. And I want a contact between this guy here and this guy here. And click OK. And then I want to come over here and I want to have a set another one. I want a new contact and I want it between this guy here and this guy here. Okay. And one more. Enable contact set between this guy here and this guy here. And one more contact set between this guy here and this guy here. Now you can see a failure now with the this being blue. It's hard to tell if it did it properly. So I would, in, if I was going to do this over again, I would do it in a different color just so I don't get confused. So let's drive the joint now and see what happens. Okay, it's working. It's working, isn't it? Except, watch. Yeah, they go up, but they don't drop back down. That's a problem. So let's put it back down. So we'll take it back to our original position here. And then we're going to go to number one, this guy here. We're going to right click number one, and we're going to edit the limits. How far it's allowed to go. Okay, so we're going to rest, and I'm going to grab this guy, and I want to bring him up. What I want to do, and I move this other way too. I move the front view. I want it to so that it just sits on there. I don't want to drive driving in like that. You see how it's driving in? I don't want that. I want it just okay. Remember we put a we put a one millimeter, half a millimeter gap. There it is, right there. So let's see, you can see it's negative 15 is my rest position, my home position. So if I click OK. And I'm going to test the first one before I do the rest of them. I'm going to test it and see what it looks like. So let's go to the slider. We're going to drive the joint. And let's rotate him around and see what happens. Does it come up? Yes. Does it go back down? Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Magic. Okay, so we'll do the same thing to the rest of them. They all return to this position too. Instead. It looks like it didn't work, but it is. it did. So come into here. The next one now. So we did the first one. And let's go to the second one here. We're going to edit the limits of this one, and we're going to rest it. And it's going to be, was it minus 15? I've forgotten. Minus 15, I believe, hopefully. And then, if not, we'll figure it out in a second. Edit drive limits, rest position, minus 15, enter. And then this one here, edit joint limits, the rest position of minus 15, enter. Now let's see what it looks like. Animate the model. It's working beautifully. Okay, so that's how you animate your model. A really nice way to, to demonstrate your model and, and explain to people what how, we, how you're planning it to work and so on. A uh, big job of an engineer is, is to to persuade people that their designs are working and, and those that their designs are valuable and this is and this is the best way to do it. Okay, thanks for watching.